was overdue and he has never been eligible to become an army commander. If you open it deep, his training was almost not there compared to other soldiers. Secondly, yeah, General Seven, before even he drops him, he must arrest him. If he is not arresting him, and the army commander, General Mbadi, they are doing the service to this country. A soldier is an anti-partisan. If we look at the Constitution of Uganda and the EPDF Act. However, what is happening? This first son is taking everything for a ride. Me, I was in the army. I served there for 10 years. But I never saw a soldier having beards like a General Mohos, the way he's growing his beard. Oh, that is because of impunity orchestrated by his father who is dropping him. So before drop, after dropping him, detain him at much in the military police. Let him be arrested by military police and be disciplined. He's causing problems. He's still talking, attacking people. And this is about regional, our regional cooperation. So the one who appointed him is not dropping him, but he's supposed to detain him the way he has de detained the Kaihura, he detained the, the, these policemen and other senior officers like, a, like a who? Uh, General, General, General Sejusa. They all went through the same problems. And they never reached the extent where this young man has reached. But you see the fact is, Mohoz is not fully trained in the army. If you open up deep where he was in training, he was not doing Mafunzo. He never did Mafunzo fully. It has nothing. It has nothing until he's detained. Like any other soldier. Because the president has the immunity over all that because of being a sitting president. But even if he leaves the power, he can also be arrested. Now, if your son is causing disharmony within the region, he has made so many mistakes. Others, we cannot say them on air. We can't say them. We know deep, deep, deep about him. Well, why is Kakwenzele out of the country? He directed soldiers to beat him, manhandle him up to the man when he was going to be killed. And Museven was seeing this. Uh, the last army commander we had in this country was Kazin and Mugisha Muntu. The rest, I don't want to talk about them. They are there as a picture. I, I don't want to use my English word because it will be an attack on them. But those were the two last army commanders. I, I don't say that Mbadi cannot manage, but he's under siege. There's a lot of panic. Uh, and, and, and I want to applaud the, the public of Kenya. Uh, 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 as, the, as, 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 as the general public and also Ugandans. We have come out strongly to condemn the reckless statements and the tweets attributable to a commander, land forces, General Muhoz. I'm still questioning myself. After we have raised the alarm and also Kenyans raising alarm, the response and the communication by the Minister of Foreign Affairs is empty. Why are they not mentioning that it is Muhoz tweets? They are just silent and empty. The matter at hand is a tweet by a, a one Lieutenant General Mohose, as he was by before the promotion. And, 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 and the tweets were attaching the sovereignty of Kenya and our relations with, with, with Kenya. So I want the Minister of Foreign Affairs to also be clear uh, and, and specifically mention that the communication and tweets by Mohose were not for the ministry, were not for the Republic of Uganda, We are made in individual capacity, but still we condemn them because he's a serving officer. We want to see a clear message from the army. The only communication from the army is a promotion and, 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 and uh, a prom uh, uh, an appointment of a new, a new commander and also this one being promoted to land force. It is also empty and silent on, on the repercussions and implications because mere, mere removing someone from an office is not enough when you have put the whole country and our nations in jeopardy. But, 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 but nevertheless, uh, removing General Mohose from, from being a commander is a welcome, is, is, is welcome for, for, for us. First of all, we have been questioning his education but as, and, and his appointment and promotion, but still we still question his promotion to a general. Because if he cannot substantiate, he cannot prove, he cannot live a life of a definite like general, will he manage living a life of a general? Because he will continue even being more reckless. He's, he's the one, a person you can't assign with a lot of with ammunition. Because he can end up shooting everyone. And because if he can be reckless with words, what will happen if he has all the full authority of anything? So I think also becoming a presidential advisor is a risk. We risk the, uh, someone being advised wrongly. Now, but nevertheless, the, the, the response is in the panic. And it's an example that whoever is holding a public office, any responsibility, never think power is enough. Sometimes you can a simple trigger can remove you from office. But still, we cannot forget the bigger liberation we need as a country. We think also, Mr. Museven, it is this time to retire. It's not enough to, to, to retire uh, the, 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 uh, these young ones who are making reckless mistakes and also the old one who are sleeping on job, remains on job. 
Why, why we want to see the same response being, being, done, being done from the Minister of Finance, among others. We want to see the appointment of a new governor, Bank of Uganda, to, 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 to reactivate our economy, among, among others. But otherwise, removing General Hose is not in use. We expected it because we even doubted his appointment. But as well, we know he, can, he will even be more reckless as a general. First of all, the promotions and transfers in forces, it's normal, it's routine work. Uh, it has got a basis, either uh, depending on uh, the performance uh, or planning for your next appointment. Uh, therefore, I take this opportunity to congratulate uh, General King Elgaba Muhozi upon his promotion to the rank of the general. He, he, the promotion is an, an appreciation of the work that well done. Uh, therefore, as, a, as a, a soldier, I take this opportunity to congratulate him once again because he has done it and the commander-in-chief has recognized his performance. I also use the same opportunity to congratulate Lieutenant General Muhanga Kayanja uh, upon his promotion to the rank of uh, 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 Lieutenant General. He has done it all. He has exhibited. Uh, he has been in the in Congo trying to flash out the, the ADF and for us actually as a country we should be celebrating his promotion and his appointment because the bombings in Kampara the bombings in Uganda, they, were, they, they had become rampant. And uh, until when he was uh, appointed the, the operation commander, Suja, in DRC Congo, where he has really performed excellently. So for us as a, as a country, we really congratulate Lieutenant General Kayanja Mahanga uh, because it's an appreciation that the commander-in-chief has really recognized it. So congratulations to you all and we wish you I wish you the best in, in your next appointment. One I want to I want to congratulate uh, General Mohs like any other serving officer. Uh, any promotion is worth congratulation. I don't I think there is no one promoted in era. So it is worth the promotion, but also to promote uh, uh, Jeno Mohanga. We have also we have all been following what has been happening in the Congo under Operation Suja, and really there is all reason for the promotion. So he's, he deserved this. Uh, it is also a message uh, to the other serving officers that the promotions are, are normal. Anyone can be promoted, and at the same time, anyone can be dropped. Because the idea you can say that General Hose has been dropped from uh, being in the command of land forces, but in, in the army, you rather have a, a rank, a promotion of a rank, than having a responsibility. So, because the rank cannot be easily taken away, the, the jobs you can be shuffled, there you are here, the other, but the rank you raise have it. So I, don't, I want to take it in that spirit. But if what is on social media is also to be believed, that indeed General Moza has been dropped, let those who are you know, holding positions ask themselves that if the, if the son of the president can be relieved of his duties, what about you who is in that position? So this is a lesson to those who are coming to this position, those who are in other positions, that you are not there permanently. We as uh, politicians, there is always an attempt even after five years to, to either promote us or to demote us. So this one should also be normal. But also, uh, I think uh, uh, if you follow what has been happening on, on social media, I think it's a lesson to, to us who use social media that we have to use social media responsibly. Responsibly in that just a single word, if we had to learn from what happened when Donald Trump was the president, just a single word would antagonize the entire European Union. 
just a single tweet from 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 Trump. So, uh, and especially if you're in a position of influence. So it's not a normal me guy they're talking this and that, but there are certain positions that when they speak, when they write, when they comment, it is taken to be uh, the comment of the commander in chief, which may not be uh, the case. So we congratulate all these officers and we, we wish them uh, we wish them well. This is not the end of, of this world. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Colma Mawi James, Member of Parliament for Juman East Constituency. First of all, I wanted to congratulate General Mwazi for his appointment as a four-star general. And at the same time, I want to also congratulate Lieutenant General Muhanga Kayanja for the appointment. And I want to thank the appointing authority of the Uganda People's Defense Forces for the promotion of the two senior UPDF officers. And I want to also thank the, the president in particular for appointing the, the two officers in their highest rankings. And I want to commend the UPDF for the job well done for the country. And it is an exemplary uh, appointment which everybody can see. President himself, first of all, appointed General Mohezi and uh, and at the same time, he made him to be the commander land forces. But as we speak now, Jerome Ozi is promoted to four-star general and again is, is brought back to his former position and another person is promoted to, to lead the land forces. So that is exemplary leadership. And I want to also tell others that if one can be promoted and demoted at the same time, it is upon us to do our best so that the appointing authority can look into us. There are so many parameters I know considered in appointment and, uh, and, uh, and in the motions. Therefore, it is not something which is very simple. To all the Ugandans, we need to appreciate and give credit where it is due. And for my case, I'm so happy. I want to thank you so much. This is, uh, to me, a very genuine promotion which I must accept. I thank you so much. May God bless you all. Thank you. Wow, from here you can see the whole tent. There are many people. I thank you all, all for coming. Thank you so, so much for this uh, overwhelming, overwhelming love that, uh, that uh, you, you have demonstrated. Uh, honorable ministers, honorable members of parliament, I find the CDF, generals of the UPDF, uh, the executive committee of MK48, <laughs> team MK, team my chairman. <laughs> All of you distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be with you here today as you join me to thank the millions of young Ugandans and East Africans who have given a whole new life and meaning to what began as a simple call to celebrate my 48th birthday. The famous Nigerian author, Chinua Achebe, said, when we gather together in the moonlit village, in the moonlit village ground, it is not because of the moon. Every man can see it from his compound. We come together because it is good for kinsmen to do so. When I extended the invitation to you to come to this place, in Tebe Cricket Ground, it is not because you couldn't have a bite or a drink in your own homes, but rather that we congregate because we are kinsmen and women, united by a strong bond 
of common purpose and belief. As most of you are aware, a couple of weeks back, as my 40th birthday uh, was approaching, I mooted the idea using my Twitter that we use the occasion to celebrate our spirit of resilience and our brotherhood, especially considering the tough season we have just been through of the COVID-19 pandemic. My idea was that like-minded young people would use this occasion to fraternize, celebrate, and celebrate the gains made despite the challenges of the pandemic, and importantly, reflect on what role and contribution we could make in the advancement of our country and our people. I must say that what has followed has been overwhelming. The outpouring of love, solidarity, but importantly hope from, uh, from our people has been unprecedented. From Bushenyi to Mbarat, Fort Porto, to Kitgum, to Mbale, Karamoja, I have seen millions of young people using the MK at 48 uh, mantra to organize not just social activities, but also cause discussion on what more we can do to make our wonderful motherland even better. It is this unexpected wave that uh, has humbled me immensely, that a simple birthday celebration has offered an entry into wide and varied discussions. But importantly, uh, importantly, those were our young people, uh, those were, our, our young people have been reflecting on their critical role in nation building. What I can guarantee all our young people is that UPDF remains steadfast in ensuring Uganda stays peaceful and secure. I am glad that young people today, more than ever, appreciate our army, what our army is doing. I therefore celebrate all my comrades in arms, and thank you very much, Afan CDA, for taking the time to come and be with us. I know you're very busy, and all the other generals, thank you for coming. I must also thank my mother, Honorable Jeanette Kataham Sibini, for everything she did to raise us. It was not an easy job, but she's a strong woman and she managed. She managed. I must thank my wife, Charlotte. Although she's here, she's here, she's with us in spirit. I must thank my children, all the members of my family, thank you very much. Senior members, led by Uncle Nzere, young Uncle Nzere, uh, and the rest. Um, finally, I want to thank in a very special way, uh, the executive committee. <laughs> the executive, uh, uh, MK48 executive committee, led by the chairman, Honorable Chirio Wachiwanka. If he can stand up, please, uh, Honorable. Well, uh -huh. Please come here. Come, come and all the other members of the, of the executive committee. If you can come forward here so people see you. Some of them are, are, more, are better known than others. If you can stand with your chairman.